inspection today. It's a little bit windy, but it is warm. Oh, we're just going to put a little smoke in there. A little at the top. Helen is cracking the entrance, taking our straps off. They've had all the syrup. Smoked them, I think, enough. We'll crack open the top here. Yeah, they've really got a lot of propolis on it, see, honey? See, just close it up. I think we're going to try the other side. Look the other side, see? Okay, that's good. Okay, so that should be a smoke for now. Here, honey, I'll be down. I'm going to lift this upper, the upper chamber, onto the whistle. Get some smoke in there. So I crack that a little bit. <laughs> wow, you can really feel the warmth of the hive. So well, the idea now is if the bees return, that hopefully they return to this. Super. Okay. Now let's have a look. Let's start our inspection. This guy's a little more smoke. Maybe we go down there. There they go. See that instant? <laughs> okay. So, the part of the goal today is to try to remove the things that came with the original nuke from last spring. You can see how they're darker. And hopefully we can see the queen. I want to try to get better at spotting her. We want to see that she stayed into the bottom uh, super. She's not laying eggs in the top. Oh. Gently 
be pulling these guys out. Oh, I got pollen and fresh nectar. You see any cat brood, Helena? No. Pollen and nectar. No, let's just spin it around. All pollen and nectar, but nice pattern to it, it still seems. Space for expansion. So I'm just going to leave these guys. I'm just going to put them over here. So I didn't shake the bees off. We do have our smoke here, but they seem to be doing okay. I want to kind of give them a little... I don't know, it's still smoke. Okay, this feels like it's one of my new, the new frames, it's light. Yeah, I put this in um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I see pollen and honey, but they are building up the, uh, oh, what are these in here? Oh, no, we've got brood. I have fresh brood in here, and it looks like, see them? So she is laying brood in the upper, on the lower. On the lower, yeah. But what's interesting is this is on one of the outer frames. Are you looking for the queen too at the same time? Yeah, because it is very possible she could be on there now. So, um... interesting because there's brood on that other one. So, here's one of our Apivar strips. Are you still filming? Yeah. Here's one of our Apivar strips. We'll just get it to the side. Nice and warm today. The forecast said uh, 24. Definitely about 20. So the bees should be comfortable. So here's one of the old frames. One of the old frames I'd like to get rid of. Oh, we don't know. I see cat drone. Oh, uh, yeah, brood. tons of brood. <laughs> Lots of cat brood. So I'm going to. Oh, yeah, I need some larvae. Yeah. So those are newly capped brood, I have a feeling. Um, see the queen? No, I didn't see the queen. I think we're going to slide. I want to separate these old frames. So hopefully we can get her not to have brood in them and I can pull them. Because I don't want to get rid of any brood at this time of year. Cat brood. Lots of cat brood though. Nice pattern and larva and drones. Lots of drone cells, wow. So that's why we keep the apivar in there, so when all those drones pop. Lots of... Lots of caps. Yeah, cat brood, lots 
the cap. They like the old comb I read. Whoa, look at all the drone comb. Look to the queen. Lots of cat breeds. So I'm gonna slide. So I've got at least three or four, maybe even four. five frames of brood. Four solid frames of brood, and and one with just a few on it. Let's see what this one's like. Wow! Solid brood. Where's the queen? Solid the cat queen. brood. No, it should be in the fresh one. Look at that. So we, have, we have lots and lots of bees. Not, I haven't even been looking for the queen. I'm going to slide these uh, original ones up into the second box. I might encourage you to go up there to lay. I'm not sure. But this is very encouraging to have so many bees this early. And here... Nothing. Pollen, pollen and honey. Lots of pollen though. And on this side, pollen and honey. So that's the two frames out. So we have basically how many? Five or six frames? Five or six frames of brood. I'm pretty happy with that. So how do we do this? That's why. Lots 
Lisa, honey. Oh, honey. Mom, what do I do with this? Put it back. in the upper and I think because she's running out of room in the lower. We need to split this high. Holy cow. We are ready. What are we, eight frames of brood now? Pollen. Okay, yeah, this is all pollen. Heavy with pollen and honey. Heavy with pollen and honey. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so she's up on that one. Let's just have a quick, I think I want to put them right in there. Heavy, pollen. Heavy, heavy with honey and syrup. But it's really good to see her. So much open through. Okay, this is a new frame. Frame, pollen, nectar. Wow, it looks like they're making their own. Uh, look at the size of those combs. Oh, yeah. We should give them a frame, that plastic frame. Actually, I think I'm going to. Oh, heavy, very heavy. Pollen is full of honey. Yours? Yeah, pollen is okay. honey. So we'll leave that on the outside. We seem to be doing good with another one. So this is light with drone cones. So which two are we taking out, Helena? Place this one down into the lower. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm bringing this 
going up? Is that what I want to do? Yeah, that one's loaded with fruit. Okay, get nice and